Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is Calculus, and we're going to be going through differentiation. We're going to be going through what's called the product rule. We've been doing the power rule, and you've gotten really good at doing the power rule. Now we're going to go to the product rule, because we can do derivatives like this. We've done derivatives like this before, where we take this derivative, and or this function, and we distribute this x to everything, and we get 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x. And now we can do the derivative and use the power rule. So 3 times 3 is 9. This becomes 9x squared. This becomes 4x plus 4. And then if we have a value like 1 or something like that, we can plug it in our function. And we get 9 times 1 squared, 4 times 1 plus 4. And we get 9 plus 4 plus 4, which is 17, if I can add correctly. And so we know how to do derivatives like that. We're going to take and distribute. But what about when the the distributing or the foiling is really complicated, okay? And it's going to take you a long time. Some, some of my students really like to do the distributing here, but what about weird questions like this? y equals sine of x times 3x squared. We've never known how to do the, the the distributed on this, or 4e to the x times 2x squared plus 8. And that's where we use what's called the product rule. The product rule. And so if I have a function here, and I have a function here, I'm going to call this a function u and a function v. And this is the overall function of f of x. So there's two different parts. So, so think about this. Think about this being our u and this being our v, or the sine of x being our u and the 3x squared being our v or this being our u and this being our v. And so what we're going to do is we have what's called the product rule. And so when we do the derivative of this, we're going to do the derivative of the first guy, so u's derivative times v plus u times v's derivative. It's really easy, and that's called the product rule. It's kind of like we did our dis distributing, but we're going to do one derivative at a time. And we call that the product rule. So let's come back to this one, and let's see if we can do the product rule for this. So we're going to try to take a look at the derivative of this. And I'm going to call this u. I'm going to call this v. So I'm going to do the derivative of u. Remember, it's u prime v plus u v prime. That's what the derivative of the product rule is. So I'm going to do this first function's derivative right here. I get 2x plus 3. And I'm going to multiply that by v. V is x squared minus 4x plus 3. We didn't even do anything to him. We just kept him the same. Then we're going to keep u the same, x squared plus 3x minus 2. And then we're going to do the derivative of the second guy, the v, v prime. And we're going to get 2x minus 4. And that's my derivative. You don't, have to, you don't have to distribute. You don't have to clean it up at all. That is the derivative. And if you have a value like f of 1 or something, f prime of 1, you just plug 1 in everything. And that's as easy as that. Same thing. So when you do dy over dx, which is our derivative, we're going to call him u. We're going to call him v. So what's the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x times v, which is 3x squared. And then we're going to keep u the same, so sine of x. And then we're going to do v's derivative. So we use the power rule, 6x. And that's the derivative, okay, using the, power, the product rule. Let's take a look at this one. So we're going to do u prime, which is the derivative. So we're going to call him u. We're going to call him v, this function u and this function v. So what's the derivative of 4e to the x is 4e to the x. It's the same. Times v, which is 2x squared plus 8. Plus, we're going to keep u the same, so 4e to the x, times the derivative of v, which is 4x. And that is the derivative using the product rule. It's, it's not too bad, okay? So let me give you just two more examples. So here, we're going to do the product rule because we have a function right here and a function right here. We have x squared and we have this function of v. So we're going to do 2x, and then we keep negative 3x squared minus 2, plus we keep the u function the same, and then we do the derivative of this, so negative 6x. And now we're doing f prime of 1, so we're going to just plug in 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. We get negative 3 times 1 squared. That's negative 3 and negative 2. That's negative 5. Plus 1 squared is 1. And we have negative 6. 
So we get negative 10 plus negative 6, which is negative 16. Not too bad. Uh, let's take a look at the second one. We're going to do the derivative using the product rule. So we're going to do this is my u, this is my v. So I'm going to do u's derivative first, 8x to the third times x squared plus 1. Plus, we keep 2x to the fourth minus 3, and then we're going to do v's derivative, which is 2x. And so now we can plug in 2. We have 8 times 2 cubed times 2 squared plus 1 plus 2 times 2 to the fourth minus 3 times 2 times 2. So we have 8 times 2 to the third. 8 times 2 to the third is 64. We have 2 squared plus 1, that's 5. 64 times 5 is 320. And then we get 2 times 2 to the fourth minus 3, that ends up being 29. Times 2 times 2 is 4, so 29 times 4 is 116. And at the end of the day, we add those two together, and we end up getting 436. Okay, but what happens if they give us like a table like this? So they give us a table of all these x values and all this f of x and f prime of x and g of x and g prime of x, and they said given h of x is f of x times g of x, we're going to kind of consider that to be u and that to be v, we want to know what h prime of 3 is. So what's h prime of x using the product rule? And guys, I always do this the same way every single time. I literally take this function and I say, all right, I'm going to do f prime of x, the derivative of u, times g of x, plus f of x times g prime of x. And that's the product rule right there. That's the product rule. Okay. Now I go to, I want to know h prime of 1. Oh, no, no, I don't. h prime of 3. That's what they said, h prime of 3. So I'm doing f prime of 3 times g of 3 plus f of 3 times g prime of 3. And now I'm going to go to my table to figure out what are each of these values. Uh, f prime of 3, and I'll do these in different colors here. f prime of 3, f prime of 3 is equal to 2. Then we have g of 3. g of 3 is equal to 1. Then we have plus, And then we have f of 3 f of 3 is equal to 3. Okay, And this last one, g prime of 3. g prime of x, g prime of 3 is negative 2. Which means at the end of the day, I have 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. That gives me negative 4. And that is my answer for h prime of 3. So this was the product rule for differentiation. Hope it helped. Do the self-assessment, and we're going to be getting some breakfast tomorrow on the product rule. Thanks, guys.